Hi, Kawaii creatives, shop gals, and guys out there. It's your host, Imani K. Brown, a.k.a. I Puke Kawaii, a.k.a. the head shop gal in charge, here with some more self-improvement over entrepreneurship. Let's go. Good morning, Kawaii creatives. I hope everyone's well. Happy Black History Month and happy early Valentine's Day. So this month is 28 days of Black J fashion and I want to take a moment to be intentional this month with some podcasts and yes there will be a lot um, to talk about my journey in Japanese street fashion, um, how I got here, how I've gone from Aquanetta we talked about her in my very first episode where I tell you what my story is not um, to becoming Ipu Kawaii and then stepping into Ipu Gyaru and what that actually looks like for me and why I do it you see I'm not in the space of Kawaii just for me these days not anymore um, when I came to Kauai, I came to Kauai like so many other black girls, and I felt broken, um, I felt unseen, um, I felt like I didn't have my own lane or my own voice, so I created Aquanetta as my mascot. She's literally called the Ratchet Magical Girl, <laughs> because when I came into Kauai, there weren't a lot of black girls like me taking up space. And when I say like me, I mean black, aggressive, um, able to stay in their ground, hood as fuck, <laughs> um, saucy as shit, uh, those things. So I didn't find a lot of black people who had that same type of energy. Not that there weren't black people in the spaces. There weren't black people that I could relate to. Either that or if I could relate, they were so far away that it was just like, how make friends? Friend, I'm your friend. Very awkward space. Anyway, these days, as an old timer, I am both a big sister in Kauai culture and a mentor. Um, my nickname is Mama Chan. So I think it's fair to say that I've done a lot of healing for myself. And these days I show up so that it gives other black girls who don't see themselves in Kauai culture permission to do their own healing and their own self-work and dress the fuck up and look cute as shit while doing it. Um, I want to see other black girls take up space in Kauai culture, actually find their voice, um, actually find their confidence. So that's where we are. That's what we'll be exploring for this month. And yeah, let's get it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>